Hello guys, welcome to Daily Tech. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We all know DuckDuckGo is a privacy-focused search engine that does not save your search history and blocks cookies. The reason we're going to be talking about DuckDuckGo today is because of a better feature which allows you to block third-party apps on your device and after using it for a while, I began to enjoy how it's been implemented. DuckDuckGo, as an app tracker, gives you a bit more insight as to the trackers, where they come from and what they want to collect. To give you a fresh view of the amount of trackers it blocks, I stopped using the tracker for about 7 days and started it today at 9am just to show you what it is capable of within a few hours. Let's jump into it and see what it can do. Now if you don't have Duck.go, what you will need to do will be to jump into your Play Store and search for Duck.go. Let's go Duck, right? And once you've installed it, you open it up and it will open up as a web browser. Now, you don't actually have to use this browser for it to actually block those trackers. What you need to do once it opens up this way is to tap on this icon here. And what we're going to look for is settings. We are going to go into settings and to scroll down here, you will see this beta functionality. This is the email protection. What it does is it blocks email trackers and hides your email address. And the way this works is you create a Dr.Go email address and then connect your email address and you then give people your Dr.Go email address and every time an email comes in to your Dr.Go, it blocks all the trackers and then forwards the email to your email address. So if email comes to you with all those trackers being blocked at the first stage, which is what this email protection does. So let's go back and look at the next one, which will be the app tracking protection. Now, before we talk about the app tracking protection, this Dog.go Mac app allows you to use the Dog.go on your Mac, as the name suggests, and Dog.go Windows app allows you to do the same for Windows. But what we're doing here is for the Android device. So the next one is app tracking protection. As you can see, this enabled. What you will need to do, step on it and toggle it on if you want it. Right here from the get-go, you can see it says within the past seven days. Just for it to refresh, so I can start the next seven days afresh and we can see what it has done. So as you can see, it says blocked 4,640 attempts across 13 apps, which is insane. So let's look at this. Uh, 363. Oh, now it's jumped to 360. It's climbing. Okay. So 360 whatever um, tracking attempts blocked from three companies. So from just one, this one app, you've got three companies trying to track me. We're going to delve into it a little bit. Before we do that, let's just go through. If you tap on recent activity here, you can see the list of apps that are being tracked, right? So let's start with this. So once you look at it, you can see um, from three companies, one company, one company, 1071 tracking attempts of one company. Let's look at that. Wow. So this from branch metric so you know what company is trying to track you and one of the best things which it does is based on those trackers it tells you what it thinks the company is trying to get off you so if you start from here it starts crazy and you can begin to understand how much information is being collected right so what you've got is postal code you've got android advertising id you've got the app name you've got a screen resolution You've got device language, you've got the OS version, you've got the app version, you've got the city, you've got a unique identifier, you've got the OS build number, you've got a screen density, you've got device model, you've got country, app installed it, local IP address, email address, and device brand. That is insane. That is a lot of information which they are collecting from you. Okay, so let's go back out there. This here is it says seven attempts known to collect app name, OS version, device model, app version, screen resolution, last name, device language, postal code, unique identifier, email address, time zone, Android advent, advertising ID, CT, first name, OS build number, GPS coordinates. So now you know the Disney app has a few of these trackers that are coming from Brace. So if you wanted to say, what does Brace do? Okay, so let's, since we are in DuckDuckGo, let's go back and look for Braze, right? Let's see, Braze. I think that was B R A Z E. Braze. Well, 
All right, so this is the, the company that has been tracking us with the Disney Plus app. And if we go to user data collection, let's see data collected by default. This is SDK data collection. Breeze is designed to allow for flexible data collection via our SDKs and APIs. The Breeze SDK can be integrated in three ways. You list them here. And if you go down here, where it says automatically collected integration, Let's see browser name that brought us from the web let's go to the time zone it collects the time zone and why does it collect your time zone it says used to ensure messages are sent to the at the appropriate time according to each user's local time zone there's always a reason okay why did they collect resolution optionally used for device-based message targeting why do you collect the language it's used to translate messages to a user's preferred language okay let's go to the next one device locale is used to translate messages to a user's preferred language so there is always a reason they give you know so why are you collecting the device model used to ensure messages are only sent to compatible devices and its devices it can also be used within segmentations and why are you checking for the device wireless carrier it's optionally used for message targeting so they always have a reason to justify it and it makes them money and this is why they track you now this is not the only company out there that is tracking you so if you go back in the settings and let's scroll back down and you jump back into app tracking protection if you decided there are apps here you would like to turn up the tracking for you can individualize it that way as well so you could come here it says view apps all right and here you have all your apps right here and you can toggle them on or off as you see fit and a quick tutorial on what app trackers are it says you've probably heard about companies like google and facebook tracking you behind the scenes on third-party websites but did you know that they also track your personal information through apps on your device over 96 percent of the 100 popular free android apps who tested contain hidden third-party trackers of those 87% sent data to Google, 68% send data to Facebook. This happens even when you're not using your device. All right, next one says trackers in many apps have access to a lot more information. And this is what we found out. They are taking way too much information than we acknowledge or want to acknowledge. So if app trackers is what you're looking for, um, Dr. Go will be able to get this done for you without any uh, premiums or any monthly payment or subscriptions. All you've got to do is jump into the app and turn it on.